a lot for joining me today. I am making another recipe in my autumn themed category and it is a delicious autumn themed salad. It has arugula, some butternut squash, pomegranates, apples, farro, um, some blue cheese if you like blue cheese and it is going to be all put together with a just delicious what I call my go-to vinaigrette and I really hope that you'll like this uh, salad. It can be made for a crowd or for individual serving bowls like you'll see uh, me make it. And uh, anyway, I think it's a great recipe and I always fall back on it during the, the autumn season because it just, it says autumn. So let's get started on this recipe and I really hope. Are we ready to put all this together and make a fabulous fall salad? I'm going to bring you on down to my bowl and I'm going to show you how I construct it. So here we go. All right. I'm going to bring you in so nice and close. There we go. Okay. Uh, maybe even a little tighter. All right. So what I have in here is some arugula. It's a nice peppery um, kind of green. And if you've never had it, you might give it a shot. It's it's very interesting. It's not, um, well, I would say peppery. It's a very lettuce tasting. And let me show you what it looks like up close here. See here? Just a nice little green leaf. All right, so then that's what I use as my foundation. If you didn't like arugula, of course you could use any kind of green. Spinach would be excellent in this. Now, um, the farro that we cooked up earlier, uh, I put this uh, just so it's kind of um, uh, warm, cool, cool, it's cold. Not icy cold, but you know, it's room temperature. And then I'm gonna take my dressing and I'm going to address this. And the reason I put the farro on first is that I think it's nice to have some of that salad, you know, drink in. Uh, the salad dressing, you know, get into the farro. So and I'm going to put a little of this dressing on here. This is a wonderful dressing, which, of course, I will leave the recipe for you. All right. I'll set that aside. And I need a towel for my hands because I have salad dressing all over them. All right. I'm going to toss this. It, you know, if you wanted to put all of these ingredients into one large bowl and toss them, you could do that. But in, in fact, you can see this now with the farro. You know, all those little things fall down to the bottom of the bowl and you don't get to enjoy them. So what I like to do is put my dressing, my dressed greens into our salad bowls first and then start piling all the great stuff on top. Let me get some of the farro in there. And of course, I'm making a salad for two here. You know, if you were making a, a large salad, of course, you would increase the, increase the, uh, you know, the amounts. But this is just for the director and I here today. All right. 
I'm going to use just one of these here for an example. And I'm not sure whether I have you in close enough yet. All right, that's better. All right, so I've got the farro in there. And um, here's that beautiful butternut squash that I uh, made earlier. I'm put a little of that on there. It's such a delicious uh, squash. All right. And then I have some pomegranate seeds, which are just so beautiful. I have actually a video on how to take a uh, pomegranate apart and put that wonderful seeds on a salad. And here's some fresh sliced honey crisp apple. You could chop this if you preferred, but we like a little contrast in the, um, you know, the texture. And then I have some chopped walnuts. And again, you could put your favorite uh, nut on there if you like almonds or hazelnuts. I just think um, either hazelnut or walnut always is such a wonderful, you know, autumn kind of uh, nut. And I'm looking here to see if I have, usually I put red onion, but we are having, um, we're going out to someone's home and we didn't want red onion, red onion on our breath. And then here, this is really gilding the lily. This is a blue cheese. I got it at uh, Trader Joe's. In fact, it is a blue cheese with a feta, part feta, part, uh, part uh, blue cheese with uh, cow's milk. So I'm going to put a little of that on there. And that is this beautiful autumn salad. And again, you could put, oh my gosh, the onions you could put in there if you liked radishes you could put radishes i didn't have any but you know those sweet little mandarin cutie cutie uh, oranges that come at this time of year i've put those in these salads it's delicious uh, if you liked goat cheese like a, a chef you could put that on there a um, lot of a lot of variations but this is just kind of a good basic um, you know lovely salad that you can serve in the fall and um, and the ingredients you know most times you have these sorts of things on hand in your home so I'm gonna put the other one together and we are going to have this beautiful salad before we have our uh, main dish which I've done some grilled salmon which again is a it's kind of a nice fall thing and I've got some steamed rice and that's what we are going to have for our dinner tonight I hope you enjoy the salad um, recipe I guess you could call it a recipe and I will put the ingredients that I um, used and um, the quantities and then as I said if you have a larger crowd or you want to put it all together in one bowl you can do that but I just find when you do that all the good stuff falls to the bottom under the lettuce and you're trying to dig it out anyway thanks a lot for watching I hope you tell your friends I hope you subscribe and I hope you give the salad a try because it is really good anyway take care everybody and I will see you real soon bye bye